Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the sweep circuit which is nothing but an exponential sweep circuit which is used to generate an incremental exponential signal which is nothing but an incre increased exponential waveform from a resistance and capacitance circuit. Consider a circuit as shown in the figure here. So a resistance followed by a capacitor and across which we are having output voltage V0 across we are measuring the output voltage V0. Let us consider a switch across this capacitor which is open and closed at different time instance at regular time instance. Name it as S. So resistance capacitance and here we are giving a voltage P. Now see when switch is open circuited listen carefully when switch is open circuited there is no current flow across the there is no current flow through the switch. Then what happens the current flows through the capacitor so that the capacitor charges. Always there will be a current flow from V to this point. Depending upon the switch on off conditions, the current may flow or may not flow through the capacitor. Suppose if the capacitor, if the switch is open circuited, then what happens the current flows through the capacitor. So the capacitor can charge up to the maximum voltage V. Okay. So if you take the input and output waveforms time, it is input and output waveforms here only we are showing. Let us consider this is the input waveform with amplitude V. What I said here V. Now what happens when input is at T is equal to 0 or at T less than 0 switch is closed. Okay. Now at T is equal to 0 or at T is equal to 0 and greater than 0. And for T greater than 0, switch is open circuited. Switch is open. When switch is open, what happens? The capacitor charges. So, above this T greater than 0, the capacitor slowly charges, charges and after some time it reaches the maximum value. Okay. So, what is the expression? How can we calculate the expression for the capacitor to charge? How to write the output voltage V0? Already we know output voltage V0 can be written as V0 is equal to V final minus V final minus V initial into E power minus T by tau. This is the final expression we know already output voltage across the capacitor when it is charging from minimum to maximum value. What is the final value here? Final value is V. Up to V the capacitor has to charge. So final value is V. Here V final is V and V initial is how much it is? V initial is 0. Initially capacitor is uncharged. So capacitor has no voltage across this. And tau value, tau is nothing but resistance and capacitance multiplication. We have only resistance and capacitance single resistor, single capacitor. So product of this one is nothing but time constant. So if you substitute all these together, V0 is equal to V final is V, uh, V final is V minus, V final is V minus initial value 0 into E power minus T by RC. That is equal to, if we take V common, 1 minus E power minus T by RC. This is the expression for output voltage when exponential signal is in the increasing 
or rising period rising duration okay keep this aside and uh, when a signal generator when a time based generator is going to be constructed we are going to calculate the linearity parameters okay three parameters i have discussed in the last video those three parameters are slope error or sweep speed error and second one is displacement error third one is transmission error these three parameters are compulsorily discussed when we are going to generate a time based or create a time based generator okay because that is used to check the linearity of the particular output waveform linearity of the output waveform linearity is nothing but actually it will be like this okay but with this deviation we are going to calculate how much is deviated in terms of slope and in terms of input and output waveform and what is the displacement error these are the three parameters we are going to calculate the first one is slope or sweep speed error slope or sweep speed error indicated by es indicated by es so we know that for exponential output waveform exponential signal the output waveform v not is equal to already we have calculated 1 minus e power minus t by r c so rate of change of output or slope rate of change of output dv not by dt just derive it with respect to because why we are going to derive this what is the necessity of derivation because es we know es is what is the expression for es i will write here so that you can understand why we are taking this derivation es is equal to dv not by dt at the initial value minus dv not by dt at final value or sweep value divided by dv not by dt at the initial value okay we, in order to accomplish or achieve these three parameter values or two values we are going to calculate uh, we are going to find out the derivation of this one so we, dv not by dt is equal to here v minus v into this one constant value is zero so zero minus v into e power minus t by rc into one by rc here minus one by rc so that is equal to minus of minus plus v into e power minus t by rc divided by rc okay so this is what dv not by dt now slope error already we know this is the formula now we need to substitute what t is equal to zero then it will come and t is equal to ts then it will come okay so very simple therefore es can be obtained like keep t is equal to zero t is equal to zero means e power zero that is one so v by rc minus and another one is that t is equal to ts so v into e power minus ts by rc divided by rc all divided by initial value v by rc okay so it is nothing but 1 by v by rc is cancelled everywhere it is common so 1 minus e power minus ts by rc okay so this is 1 minus e power minus a how can you write this one expand this we know the expansion of the exponential signal so that is equal to we can write the error es is equal to 1 minus 1 minus ts by rc plus ts by rc whole square into 1 by 2 factorial plus and so on ts by rc whole cube by 1 by 3 factorial and so on okay so as ts is very very small neglect the higher order terms as ts is very small as ts is very small 
So what happens when TS is very small? TS square becomes very small, TS cube becomes very small, and all the higher order terms are be very, very small. So these parameters we can neglect. Can be neglected. So then ES is equal to 1, 1 minus of 1 minus TS by RC. So 1 minus 1 cancel and it plus minus minus plus TS by RC. Okay. So this is what the sweep error or slope error ES. And also we know the output voltage V0 is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus T by RC. Now at T is equal to TS, V0 is equal to Vs. V0 is equal to Vs. So Vs is equal to 1 we know, V0 is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus T by or we can say TS. No. It is T by only T by RC. Okay. So Vs is equal to at T is equal to Ts, Vs is equal to Vs, V naught is equal to Vs. So it is Vs is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus Ts by RC. Okay. So if you expand the same here also, then V into Ts by RC divided by that is equal to. Vs is equal to V into Ts by Rc. After expansion and cancelling the higher order terms, it is it is nothing but V into Ts by Rc. So Vs by V is equal to Ts by Rc, which is equal to what is Ts by Rc, which is equal to Es. This is Es. Okay. That means the smaller the sweep amplitude compared to the sweep voltage, the smaller will be the slope error. Okay, if the sweep amplitude is very very less compared to the amplitude V, what we have given in the circuit, then the sweep error or slope error yes will become very small. Okay, so the smaller the sweep amplitude, the smaller the sweep amplitude, Compared to the sweep voltage, compared to the sweep voltage, the smaller will be the, the smaller will be the slope error. The smaller will be the slope error. Okay. This is the calculation of uh, sweep error or slope error. Now the second parameter is transmission error ET. Second parameter transmission error ET. Transmission error ET. So the transmission error ET can be calculated from the same output voltage V0 is equal to or Vs is equal to. V0 is equal to we know V into 1 minus E power minus T by RC. But what happens at T is equal to Ts. V0 is equal to Vs. So Vs is equal to V into 1 minus E power minus Ts by RC. Okay. So expand the same. Expand the same here also. So that is equal to V into, see once if you have done the first one, the second one is also in the same way, 1 minus, 1 minus Ts by Rc minus plus minus uh, 1 uh, minus Ts by Rc whole square 1 by 2 factorial and so on. Because it is V into 1 minus of this one. Okay, it is having minus here. So, it will be minus there. Now, that is equal to Vs is equal to V into. It is 1 minus 1 cancel and minus becomes plus. So, Ts by Rc 
and it is minus 1 by 2 Ts by Rc whole square. Okay, we have neglected the higher order terms. We have taken up to 2 factorial. The initial slope, it is Vs. The initial slope the initial slope dv naught by dt at t is equal to 0 is equal to v by rc. This is what we have calculated in the previous section. So, in the initial slope, if the initial slope is maintained at t is equal to ts, at t is equal to ts, vs is equal to vs dash that is equal to Ts into V by Rc. This is the final value that means that T is equal to Ts up to sweep period. So, Et we can write it as Et is equal to we know the formula Vs dash minus Vs divided by Vs dash. So, if you substitute all these values here we have Vs dash we have Vs substitute them that is equal to Vts by Rc minus Vts by Rc minus V by 2 Ts by Rc whole square divided by so initial value is Vts by Rc. So that is equal to after simplification we will get Ts by see Vts by Rc is there in, in every parameter. So, that will be cancelled and it is V Ts by 2RC that is equal to Es by 2. Already yes we have calculated which is nothing but Ts by RC. So, the relation between the transmission error and slope error is like this. So, transmission error is half of the slope error or slope error is twice the transmission error. This is the relation between these two parameters. So, one more parameter we need to calculate which is nothing but displacement error that I will calculate in the next video. Thank you.